Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a semi-realistic sulfur dry fly. The hook that I have in the vise, this is a Maruto, the D31 SSC. This is dry fly and this is a barbless hook. This is a size 12. Sulfurs get get pretty big and 12 is not beyond their size range. I'm going to use yellow thread. I'm going to put a base of thread down, start behind the eye and I'm going to go all the way back to the tail. Hold that thread at about a 45 degree angle and you'll get those nice tight turns. Nice tight wraps in there. Then you want to bring that back to where it would the thread would hang at the barb if there was a barb on there. Now for the tail, I'm going to use some micro fibbits, and these are just blue done. And I'm going to take maybe about six of them. And we're going to take them and we want them to be about the length of the body so get them right about there I'm gonna make a soft loop and pull it straight down another one and now it's got it pretty tight there give that a couple more little there we go a little bit long take our excess and trim that away now for the body I'm using Hemingway synthetic quills and these are transparent yellow and I have one already off and because they are transparent yellow that's why I'm using the yellow thread because they are transparent sulfurs actually they're there are different colors in different streams like for instance the stream that I fished they're they're orange and you need sulfur orange but a stream a mile away they could be yellow they could be almost a cream color it all depends on the water that they're in I'm gonna go and wrap the the, the uh, thread and I want to kind of try to make sure that this is a pretty level that's why I'm going back and forth on this and I'm going to come up to about two eye lengths from the eye of the hook now I'm actually going to flatten this thread out by giving it a spin counterclockwise and I'm going to go back just to kind of try to keep it from having too many bumps in it and make sure that I got that covered pretty well and I'm gonna go forward give that a twist again and stop about two eye lengths from the eye. I'm going to take my quill. This is actually the second one on this quill, so it's a little smaller. So I'm going to put it in my hackle pliers and wrap it. You don't want it to spin. So you have to make sure that it, you're, you're going flat all the way around. And when I get up to the thread, I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And we're going to trim away that excess. And 
And now for the wing, we want the wing to be about one quarter of the hook shank back. Normally tying the wings, I would go, I would start the wing first and go halfway back with the thread and then halfway forward, half of that forward. And that will give me my wing position. But with these quills and the wing, the wing kind of gets in the way a little bit. So you want to wrap the quill body first. But the wing that I'm using is the Hemingways. This is the Mayfly Wings 2. And these are a small size. And one of the big things that a lot of beginner fly tires have a problem with is proportion. And that kind of uh, is the biggest, the hardest thing for the beginners to get. And the wing, you want that wing to be the length of the hook shank. So this is a good size there. And you can see there's a tab in the back. So I'm going to actually cut that tab off the back. First thing I'm going to do is take the wings and fold them so I get those tips lined up. And I'm going to put a hard crease in it. Then I'm going to hold it and I'm going to take pretty much almost all of the that back tab off. I have just a small back tab there now. I'll place the wing right on top of the thread. I'm going to wrap the front section in. And now I can get that back, just a, that small piece of the back. I'm going to go single wing and then go single wing. And now if you want to get those separated, you could go ahead and do that. Kind of give it a little bit of a figure eight there. Get that one in there right. There we go. And we have those wings laying back there nicely. And they're secured. Now I'm going to take my dubbing loop spinner and make a dubbing loop. And I'm going to take my wax and I'm going to wax the thread. Oop, came off one of them. Get that in the second one. Just so we have, make sure that it's open. And go ahead and wax that thread pretty good. Now our hackle, we're going to make a CDC hackle. And for that, I took a pair of creamish yellow CDC hackles, and I put them in my dubbing block, my dubbing loop block. And I put them, I have a butt stem here and a butt stem there. Now I'm going to take my chip clip and secure them and then I'm going to pull those stems out. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim them off. And you end up with a little crew cut right there. Now we're going to take our chip clip and put it right inside that dubbing loop. And then I'm going to pull this chip, the, the spinner to make that pretty tight as I pull it out of the chip clip and secure it. Now I can go ahead and if I want I can touch it just a little bit to push those fibers a little bit further there. 
and I'm going to move my thread out of the way and I'm going to give my dubbing spinner a twist. And now here we have a CDC hackle. I'm going to fold everything towards the back as I am wrapping. Go real close to the real close to the wing, a couple wraps there, and then start going forward. Just going to hold them to the back as I'm going here. And don't really worry if it, if they go towards the front a whole lot. Because all you have to do is pull them towards the back just like that. Now I'm at the eye, so I'm going to tie this in. And now, since I have everything held towards the back, I'm going to go ahead and come back on it and make the head. I'm going to come back from the eye about five wraps widths of thread. Go ahead and trim off the dubbing loop thread. Pull everything out of the way of the eye once again. Take my whip finish. Give that a whip finish. Go ahead and remove your thread. I'm going to take before I put head cement on, I'm going to hold it right there, and I got a little puff. You see that little puff of CDC there, and that take care of it. Let's give it a nice quick shot with the lighter. I'm going to take my head cement. Put a little bit of head cement on there. Clean that brush off really well. I'm going to take my little dubbing brush here and just kind of stroke those CDC feathers towards the rear. You can even bring them down towards the bottom more. Got one really long one there, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off. And here we have a semi-realistic sulfur done. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.